Hello, my friends. Welcome back. How are you? I hope doing okay. If you're a returning subscriber, I want to thank you so much for supporting the channel. I'm truly grateful for each one of you. If you're new here, hi, my name is Tammy. Well, let's see what I'm up to today, shall we? I have this mold right here, and it's a hummingbird, and it's a little jewelry box. And the hummingbird is perched sitting up here on a little, perched on a little tree branch. We're not going to make this out of a jury box, though. We're going to make it out of a little lamp that you can set on your mantle, your bedside table, your coffee table, your uh, office desk at work. Um, but we're going to put these lights in this piece right here. And then when we get both castings popped out of the mold, we're going to glue this piece on top of there. And then it'll set up just like that, anywhere you want to put it. So if you're interested in watching me create that, then kick back, relax, and let's get to it. I have Let's Resin Holographic Glitter here in purple. And we're going to take this little fine point needle right here and we're going to go in these little intricate areas around here with that. And then we're going to take this Let's Resin Chameleon Powder in Plum and we're going to dust it right here on this little scene that's in the Hummingbird. It's a pretty little scene in there. And we're going to dust that on, on that. And then we're going to throw a black on the back of it. But we don't want the black to go down the side. We just want it to set on here on the top. Then we're going to take this uh, resin dye. This is transparent. Tran <laughs> transparent. <laughs> this is translucent, meaning you can see through it. It's not opaque. So we're going to take that and we're going to put these purple Mylar flakes in it and create the, the outside of the hummingbird here. And we'll probably fill this up with it too. But we're going to dust, we're going to go in the edging here first with this glitter, purple glitter. So I have some resin right here. And we may go ahead and do this, the edging of this first, and then we can dust that. I see something in my mold right here. I'm going to go ahead and take this tape and go in there and make sure that I have it clean. I did this before I started, but I don't know how something got in it so fast. <laughs> Okay, it's not easy to do with <laughs> gloves on. Here we go. We're going to take this uh, resin dye right here. And I'm just going to put enough in to where I'm satisfied with the color. I'm just going to do one drop right now. And let's add some of these Mylar Flakes. I'm just going to go ahead and dump all those in there. And I think that's all we're going to use is just one drop. That's pretty purple to me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let that resin set a minute. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and 
pour it into the mold. I can see right now that I'm going to need the rest of this. So go ahead and pour it in there now. And stir it up just a little bit. And that way we won't have to add any more color to it because I don't want it to be really dark. Okay. And I'm not going to add any more resin to that now. Okay, I'm going to take this uh, toothpick right here and I'm going to put a little bit on the toothpick. And then I'm going to wisp it through here. Right like that. I'm not going to mix it up or blend it in. I'm just going to make a few little wisps through there with it. And I'm not touching my bottle to that so the resin doesn't get on my bottle. I'm letting it drop onto the stick. I think that looks kind of cool. And I think I might stop there. Yeah. So let's do one little one little one up here. Right there. And right here, do a little one. I like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna leave it alone before I mess it up. I think that looks cute, makes, adds a nice little touch to it. Okay, now I'm going to take the heat gun and move around in here a little bit. And now I'm going to take some alcohol and spray in there. I 
Now I'm going to take these Q-tips and make sure that it's dry. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take this glitter here and put some in. I'm going to get a nice hefty scoop and put it in here. And I'm going to stir it all about. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's beauty, miss. Okay. Now I'm going to take this syringe right here, and I'm going to suck this up in there. Now I'm going to get a paper towel. Clean the outside off so it doesn't drop down into my mold. Now I'm going to put this part on there. And now let's go to work. Sorry guys, I'm quiet, I'm trying to concentrate. How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone is doing wonderful. Trying to get these real Tiny spots first. Okay, let's go ahead and open up our plum. and see if we can get it brushed on here.
I have a little bit of cleanup to do, but not much. Okay, I think it's pretty much on there now. And I'm going to take these little micro brushes right here and put a little bit of alcohol on the tips of them. And then I'm just going to go inside these little areas right here and clean it up. Just like that. I'll see you back when I'm done. I'm not going to put the black over that because I'm scared it's going to make it too dark when I pull it out of the mold. And we put the, uh, well, we're fixing to put the lights in it now, but when we pull it out of the mold, I'm afraid that it's just going to make it too dark in that area. And I kind of wanted it to be kind of see-through. So let's go ahead and put our lights in. And there's a tip right here on the lights that's uh, pointy, and I don't want it to scratch my mold, so I'm going to go ahead and bend it inward. And kind of roll it at the tip, right like that. And I'm going to go ahead and put me a clip right here because I know that that's where I want my lights to come out at. I should have put these lights in there first, you guys. I don't know what I was thinking. I was trying to get ahead of myself. So don't do what I did. Make sure you put your lights in first. It's a whole lot easier. I mean, you can do it this way. I'm not saying you can't, but it's a whole lot easier if you put them in first. Okay, we're back and we're going to go ahead and ease these clips out of the resin. And since they have silicone on the tips of the clips, they slide right out. Some of them may give you a little bit of a jiggle jiggle out of there, <laughs> but you'll get it out. I love these little silicone tipped uh, clips just for that reason. But I'll tell you you will wear the tips out if you use them like I do all the time and you'll have to replace them which is not a big cost to you because they come to a, a pack of like five or six at the Dollar Tree which I've stated it in my video before but maybe someone missed it so I'm going to poke down these wires that uh, tried to stay up. I'm just going to give them a little bit of a poke down in there. Some of them, if they're just risen a little bit, I'm not going to worry about them because they're not going to affect anything sitting the way they're sitting. And let's go ahead and test these lights. I should have done that before I put them in there. Shame on me. You should always test your light strand before you put it in your piece. Yes, it works. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to slide this plastic piece that protects the battery from running or connecting with the other battery or the connection inside of there and stop it in case it tries to the switch bumps and turns on it'll save the battery in there okay now I'm gonna spray a little bit of alcohol in the mold 
and I have our resin right here. I've put the Mylar Flakes in already and the colorant. So here we go. And I'm going to pour slowly so that I do not incorporate bubbles or more bubbles into my piece. And now I'm going to go ahead and take this piece of tape and I'm going to go on my sides like that and get this resin that has, it's not fully cured, but it's enough to um, bring it right off of there so that when we demold our piece, or maybe if I put a little bit more resin in there, it's not quite full yet, it won't meet up with those pieces on there and try to overflow the mold or be more of a mess to sand when it comes out of the mold. Okay, I'm going to use the heat gun. And I see on our piece here that there are a few bubbles on our scene up in here. So I'm going to just scoot them. I'm going to nudge them just a little bit to get them moving on out of the resin. They will not be too pretty sitting up in there. <laughs> so we're going to make sure we try to get those pesky bubbles out of our piece or making their way to the top. And I'm going to put some of these Mylar flakes We'll make sure that some of them are on our piece because I think that it's pretty showcasing them like that. Okay, I'm going to use the heat gun again. And I'm going to spray it with the alcohol. Now I've moved our other piece over here. And we're going to have the resin ready and we're going to add a little bit of this purple non-sinking glitter. Just a tad to our resin. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a stir. Get the sides of the cup. And make sure I get it down at the bottom too, but I'm not stirring too much. And now I'm going to spray a little bit of alcohol in the mold. And we're going to go ahead and pour. Okay, let's go ahead and demold our pretty hummingbird. I love hummingbirds. 
Of course, y'all know that, don't you? <laughs> Trying to get it good and that seal off, suction off of it before I start peeling away. Man, this thing doesn't want to come out of there. Okay. Let's see, he goes this way. I think that turned out pretty. We'll light him up in just a minute. Okay, here's our top piece, and I told you that this piece right here is going to take longer to cure. You see how flimsy that is? But it won't be like that um, tomorrow. And I used J. Diction resin to make this piece. I started to use Let's Resin, but I just picked up the J. Diction bottle and just went with it. <laughs> And there's the front. And I don't know if you guys can see the sparkle in that. But man, it is gorgeous. Okay, now let's put him on here. I'm so glad I left that clear. I think that looks so good like that. And you can see some of the mylar flakes just peeking through there. I'm really glad I decided to do that. I really was going to color it, you guys. <laughs> but I was like, uh, let's see what clear looks like. I don't ever do anything clear. <laughs> okay. Now, let's set him up. See how it just sets up nicely? You can set him anywhere, anywhere you want. For those of you who stayed through the entire video, I have no words to express how grateful I am to have you here. I truly appreciate your time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and thank you for allowing me to be part of it. I hope to see you in the next video. Stay for the uh, pictures of our hummingbird at the end. God bless you and bye my friends.